Hey everybody, I'm David, and I'm going to teach you how to make an infinite maps with Super Llama's Map Repeater. Keep in mind this is not official or 100% accurate, this is just knowledge I've gotten from hours of trial and error. Before we start, I'd like to apologize for using Bandcam. I would use License for Apps, but it only records this window, so hands tied. Anyway, the main part of this is the info underscore map repeat. This basically tells the code that the map repeater is active. Without it, it wouldn't repeat the map. In it, we have up, down, top, bottom, left, right. So what does that mean? Well, top and bottom are your y-axes, with top being negative and bottom being positive. You can find this by measuring the space between the center of the map and the beginning of your funk map repeat brush on that axis. We'll get to those later. You'll use this distance for both top and bottom, with top being positive and bottom being negative. Up and down are your z-axes, and you can use the same method to retrieve them. Left and right is your x. So there's the info underscore map repeat finished. Before we get to the fung map repeat brushes, I'd like to quickly point out that all of your brushes must be set as funk underscore brushes. To do this, simply create the brush, and once you're happy with it, hit the two entity button over here, and make it a funk underscore brush. Then we must put in our key values. Before we can start though, if your window looks like this, you have to hit the smart edit toggle button up here, and then you can add your key values. Firstly is cell 1, which will tell the code when to repeat the brush. For, say, the spawn platform, we will put 000, 0, 0 so that it only spawns in cell 000. 0, 0. For the ground brush, we'll put question mark, question mark 0. The question marks will mean it will repeat for every cell in that direction. The last 0 is so it doesn't repeat on the z-axis. You can also do percentages by putting in, say, 5%, or percent %5. This will give the brush a 5% chance of appearing in a cell of that axis. As a quick note, it's much better to create an object like a house with brushes, then group it, and then make the entire thing a funk underscore brush, so you don't have to edit the cell values for each one. As for gmod underscore allow fizzgun and gmod underscore allow toolgun, these are to disable picking up the brushes or removing them. This is kind of annoying because it also means you cannot place balloons or turrets on the ground, or other things like welds. Now for the last bit, the funk underscore map repeat brushes. These are pretty simple. Depending on the direction, just paste in the number from the info underscore map repeat. For example, here we have a Y brush on the negative side of the map, the left side of the bottom left window for Y. In the info underscore map repeat, we have top and bottom, which as previously mentioned are the Y axes, being 13, 8, 24. We'll set the in, which is the input, as negative 13824, and the out, output, as positive 13824. Basically, when someone gets to negative 1384, it will set them to positive 13824. Keep in mind that this is just the negative y side. For the positive y side, we'll do the input as positive 13824, and the output as negative 1384. You have to do the same for the X and Z brushes using the left to right and the up and down values respectively. For this map, it's perfectly square, so the only value I need to remember is 13A24. For elongated maps, you'll have to measure from the middle of the map to the start of the brush as shown before. Once that's finished, you're pretty much done. Just load it up on Gmod and see what breaks.